I'm gonna just say this, Vance. I'm just so sick of Busy One playing this role with the Team Q. Can't whatever. Who, it, it, playing both sides or trying to act like you fake support me or whatever like i i don't i don't want no parts in it because it's extremely irresponsible for you guys as a platform and a radio station to continuously give someone like you and the people that are part of this team a platform to spread lies and to continue to do business when the entire city knows what a fraud he is and the fact that you allowed him to do this and now spread lies about me i have no respect for it and I just, I have no further business needs to be done. Like, you, if that's what you want to support, then by all means, have at it. Congrats on making the divide even worse and further. You ain't bridging no gas for nothing. You don't try to make no peace for nobody. That wasn't the intent here. And if it was, you would have done a whole lot better job than giving me a heads up when you've been secretly plotting against me this whole time. Like, you're a joke. You're lame. And you can't throw good events. And busy one is a joke. Fuck you. Release that. Do whatever you want with it. But by, again, I will make sure that Q and his entire team is taken the fuck down. Because they're all a bunch of frauds and smoking mirrors. And have no business doing business in this city. And I stand on everything I've ever said about him. And I will be able to tell my side of the story on my platform. On live. On YouTube. On the show that I'm releasing. On, um... You know, Roku, Fire Stick, stuff like that because Q is a narcissist and has no business doing anything with anybody, managing anybody in this entire city. And the fact that you've given him a platform to, to, to spread his lies is disgusting. So I, I hope you all the best in this um, episodes that you're putting on to spread whatever drama that you want. Put no parts in it. You know the saying, what's done in the dark shall come to the light. So you got the host of the glow shining light on what people want to expose. Lord Ace in the place to kick the shit out the shade. So, let's get it. In the place today, I got my homie. Yes, sir. What's going on with it, man? It's your boy, Tim Q. Uh, Kwabe Sneed, you know, if he ain't, man. Oh, Make yeah. And, and I got I to do, do a personal one for this one. And the illustrious graphic designer who, who blessed us. Blessed Busy One Radio yeah. with the logo that we have. My man, a Fred View Media, Fred Tacula, himself. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, rock yeah, yeah. Up. Oh, oh yeah, I thought rock up. I thought rock up. I thought rock up for a whole yeah, fuck that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't got no problem with that. But yeah, th- thanks for coming in, guys. Um, yeah, this, you know, this basically spurred a moment, making it happen, starting something new. It's the genesis, if you will. Um, done in the dark. So, tell, 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 tell me what's what's on your heart that you just need to let go of. Man, I, you know, I don't. I want to have a speech with this shit for real. Bro, go for you know, it. Go for it. It, 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 it. Ain't no really no speech to put around real for gotcha. real, man. Like, I don't want people in the city to discredit the worth of what I've done. Like, I feel that. Like, for real, I be quiet. I'm I'm a quiet person. Like Fred was just saying, you know what I mean? I don't have to join. Like, being a quiet person, you feel me? You saying certain shit to get you in trouble, and I've had my share of that. So, I really don't say too much. I don't try to intervene. You feel me? I don't try to get into nobody's social media life, personal life, whatever. I mind mine and my people's, you feel me? That's the business that pay me. But, like, I mean, for the people that hear this, you know, and before y'all go to judge me and think, oh, he think he he this or he that, or he he think because he did this or he got a little bit of fame or whatever, like, you know, let me remind most of y'all that's probably making that type of, you know, that depiction of me, you feel me? Like, I've probably helped y'all more than likely get to where y'all at in this type of industry if you are one of them type of people. If not, and you hate me, hate me, fucking shit. Listen to my music streaming, goddammit, I don't care. But there you go, all, all platforms. Then. You feel me? But, like, as of lately, you know, I stood in the dark right after we got done doing the Kevin Gates show. I didn't really do too, too much. I wasn't really performing. I wasn't even really giving people a real set. I wasn't giving people me at all, bro. You right. feel me? Like, I really, I, I, I was angry, you feel me? After, you know, shit that I displayed and told y'all about, you feel me? Like, and I, I felt like, damn, it was my fault. It put me in a dark place. Made me not want to do a lot of things, you feel me? That At that point, after that, I knew I was supposed to do for real, and I kind of went into a shell. You feel me? Started getting my money back up and just kind of stood back, you know what I mean, in the back scenes for real, for real. And uh, it ain't even nothing to the point to say, like, oh, he, he fell off or nothing like that. It's more so the fact that, like... Self-love. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know. Exactly. Like, yeah, self-love with myself, but to what I'm saying to the people, for real, bro, is, like, don't discredit what I'm on, you feel me? Like, there's a lot of things that we could really speak on, and we probably gonna speak on some of that shit today. You know, for instance, you know, I know we got Twister coming back up in this bitch, huh? Yeah, shout out, shout out to the guy. Shout yeah, out to yeah, the guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was dope. Yeah. Shout, out, shout out to the Wendy's. Yeah, I remember last year, today is what, the 10th or the 11th? 
Uh, the 11th. So last year, yesterday, we had Twister in Tom Sounds. Oh, damn. Got the video footage. Lee Junior Jr. with the B-roll, yeah, he cold. My lap shit look like a handoff Get grams off on accident like shorty digits But she be glad she did it Travel across states on my pivot In order to win, can't move if If I ain't dolo, most likely with my dogs No Cruella to feel no Disney Lot of TAC, get my dialogue Break them numbers down, no analytics Mary Jane be my main squeeze And she want a threesome with the Henny She trying to be fourth, get cleaned up after I hit her She ain't know the slugger was in me Wasting time on violation, why you hit me up for no reason You full of brown shit If it ain't a play, not pulling down shit Adding up soon as I leave the house shit Not satisfied, so I ain't bragging about shit Real niggas with me, will fuck some clout shit Disrespect could get you stumped out shit Setting out slims, continue count Add it up, add it up, add it up on my wrist Got a bunch of slims on the team They don't even mind sharing this Tell me that the team Y'all can check it out Oh yeah <clears throat> Never, never gonna pull it out You get that set? He's, he's set? You know 450 people Oh I shit. think he did Got everything straight It was cool Brought people on Put people on At this time you know I was working with certain people You feel me They was doing their thing So I was giving them more opportunities I didn't charge them Again I was paying for niggas Studio time at this point You feel me Like right. so I'm I'm giving you opportunities It was never A contract placed forward I never had any business set forward with these people it was just sharing love yeah you feel me so when Spread i'm saying discrediting like people will say that i'm bad business you uh tried to have me open up for twister last year right i opened up for twister one year ago asked me if i wanted to pay 500 dollars to perform for twister i said no i'm not paying 500 dollars to open up for twister um, so then I had a feature. Someone else was already opening up for Twista. They asked me to do the feature with them. So I didn't have to pay. Then she suggested I do another song. So I got a good two songs for free without having to pay. And he was salty because he didn't have control over the situation because Q's a narcissist and tries to control people and do all this little bullshit. Okay. I didn't have to pay. I got the open. And I got to meet Twista afterwards and take my models and network with him after the show and build a connection, which I built rapport this whole year and brought him back. And Q and his dusty ass team may have shit to do with it. How can I be bad business if, anything, if bad I business never for you. did business with you? You feel me? Like the, the other, the, that's a favor. You feel me? It's not right. business. That's me doing something out the kindness of my heart. You're not paying me for nothing. You're not, you're not getting, you feel me? Like, there's there's no readings that makes that shake, okay? Exactly. Discounts and everything. So I put the show on, you feel me? Like, motherfuckers was, you know, feeling at this point that they should get things that they shouldn't have gotten. They went on the show for sure, first off. What happened was I approached them with the opportunity, hey, look, if you want to get on Twister, let me know. You feel me? The owner is saying you got to at least bring in $500 worth of ticket sales or make some shit shake, you feel me? Right. She said, nah, she couldn't do the opportunity. All right, that's cool. I moved on. You feel me? Like, you could sell tickets and make your shit. But why would I just say, hey, yo, I, I just paid for this nigga to come out here. You feel right. me? I paid for this nigga to come out here. You feel me? I, I, I want to make my money back. You feel me? Exactly. I got to make sure. It's I'm an investment. Good. What happens yeah, if I give everybody it's free and y'all do nothing? One, the show don't go on. It's not about to be a lit show. It ain't going to be 400 people in that bitch. I got to put some standards to shit. You got to make some shit shake. That's the business side of things. Exactly. So, all right, we I, at this point, I'm trying to transition you from, all right, I'm fucking with you. I got you. I'll throw you a bone to let's really turn you into an artist. Right. Do this. Do this. You're going to get paid. You're going to this. You're going to that. Decline the offer. That's cool. 
Another homie got the offer. He co-hosted the joint with me. So he didn't have a slot. You feel me? He just got to perform off the sense that he had co-hosted. Right. Okay. Ended up doing business with a couple of people. My homie Bigfoot. Shout out to Bigfoot. You feel me? Shout out Bigfoot. Yeah, definitely. Shout out. You feel me? Squad. We Hello. Know. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. That's him. That's him. That's yeah. yeah, yeah. In this shit. <laughs> 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 in this shit, in this shit. You Be careful, he might make your chick eat his ass. <laughs> word, word on the street. Yeah, 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 I heard about that. You take your bitch and make her eat it. You did. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I'll take your bitch and make her eat my ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard about it. Yeah, you know, so look, so, you know, this this is right around the time I got to meet my man. You feel me? Like, but at that point, it was to the to the extent where it was, all right, Q ain't good business. So he didn't, you know what I mean? It wasn't that he made a judge of character, but if somebody tell you, like, hey, watch out, there's snakes in the grass, even if you don't believe when you still going to try to tip to that motherfucker. You walk right. yeah, probably yeah, right. think twice, right. you feel right. me? Yeah. So, bro, come on, we, we go to bro house, he do a video shoot. Video shoot was dope as hell, bro. Dope as hell. Had a good ass time, bro. Came in, minded mine. I ain't try to take nothing over. I, bro, telling everybody to move, I move. You feel me? Again, I'm coming in. I respect it. You feel me? I respect what my man's is doing. Right. You feel me? It was no problem that came from me. Fuck around doing the business. Everybody kicking it. You feel me? Like, bro, hit me up right before it was time. Like, yo, I got a couple artists that's going to jump on this on the set. I'm like, all right, it's cool. You feel me? As long as you know that's your set. You feel me? Right. So, what happened is, bro, get on the back end. Uh, they had some business worked out. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Off of uh, just work. You feel me? Okay. So, Shorty do her thing. You feel me? But they do their song, too. And then, bro, had somebody else on the slot, too. You feel me? So the time frame of his slot is past. Right, we of course. We on a set schedule. Of you course, feel me? And, yeah. And bros performing his music too. So you got three artists performing and then the person who was actually supposed to have the slot too. You feel me? So you got a total of like five, six. So how, much, how, many, how long was the set supposed to be? Bro, the set was like 10 minutes, bro. It's supposed to damn near turn into a 23 minute set. Actually, I timed it. It was like right around that, bro. Because damn. I'm like, bro, I got to I gotta come with cohort. They had a 10 day contract and decided like, to go to Jordan. What you know, so shit? like, you feel me? Like it wasn't, but it, it wasn't none of the artists fault. As it was the person who who put it together, he knew better than to say, "All right, I can fit all of this together." You feel me? Right. Now, when it came down to it, when I talked to him, he apologized. We still do business to this day. He a cool cat, bro. He about his business. You feel me? And niggas that that the biggest thing with this is knowing, you know, as a as a man to admit your faults. I admit Facts. my faults anytime. If somebody comes to me and they like, "Yo, it's this way, it's that, it's this," and you you tell me it's that, and I feel that it's that, the nigga, yeah, my bad. You feel me? I, I don't have no problem apologizing. You feel me? Like. And, that's where I can start. Nah, that's, 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 that's the a measure of a strong at. individual. Yeah, you feel me? That's the respect. That's where the respect come at. You feel me? Like, so to get in the side of all this, you feel me? Like, there's been so much controversy on I'm not good business. I don't do good business. I, I'm not this. I'm this type of person. The, the craziest thing, it wasn't bad at first when it turned into the business ace, bro, for real. What mm -hmm. really did it for me, bro, like like I said, like the story before, it wasn't about what, what the nigga it did, you feel me? It was about when it got to the family, when it started affecting shit like that personally, right. you feel me? Motherfuckers start going around telling people that I done tried to come on to her and all this other shit, bro. Like, bro, you know me, bro. You 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 know me for years, bro. I be at the parties, bro. My right. own parties. You know right. I could get played, bro. Right. You've seen instances where my... You, bro, you, nah. I, 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 you I, feel I, me? I, I, I had shorties hit me up to get the cue. You, you, you feel me? Okay, so like and, and when it comes down I, to I, it... I, I can have my own homegirls try to get me to get them the cue. You feel like, me? Like... I'm not even so fronting. Like, that's, that's not a no, lie. No cap. No cap on it for sure. So, like, I'm definitely not that type of nigga. And then for real, like, I ain't even really attracted to you because, like, yo, yo, energy don't read right. And I'm a big person with energy. Before, I was like, man, I fuck hella bitches. And for real, I was fucking hella bitches. I had a sevensome. You feel me? A sevensome. <laughs> seven me and six bitches. I got mm. the picture. I'll show you, bro. I promise to God, bro. I'll be... You feel me? I was I need, in the I need, field. I need for the video. I got you. I got you. We'll blow out all the booty cheeks and oh, everything, yeah, sure, bro. Sure. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. World star for the shit. Kids, oh, for God. The kids. <laughs> oh, God, bro. But I don't need none of that. You feel me? I'm trying to make bread. It's about money, not pussy. A lot exactly. of these artists get confused with shit like that. You feel me? They see a vagina. They think, oh... She, little damsel in distress. Let me, how can I slide your way? But right. in, in reality, how can I stick my dick in you? That's how niggas basically, is thinking for real. For basically. Real, you feel me? And females acclaim, oh, I hate how people generalize us female artists as them type of females. But y'all doing it. So why the fuck y'all mad for? And this is why I, we got to bring all this shit to the light. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, like y'all need, really need to understand. Like, I don't, when I say certain shit to people, if y'all listening to this podcast and y'all know me, when I say shit to y'all, it might come off. 
you know, rude or whatever, but I mean well. And, and for real, when I say it, I wouldn't even say it to a random motherfucker for real. Like, right. if I'm putting you on game, it's because, one, I see potential in you or I care about you. You feel me? Right. Like, like, not even to play the shorty, like, but, like, we developed a, a certain, I mean, it was a decent connection for her. Like, we wasn't, like, on nothing like that, like, no ram romance shit. But, like, when I see her out, give her love, you feel me? Introducing her to hella motherfuckers, bro. Half the industry that I was tapped in with met her off the scent to me because, again, I'm throwing parties at TH. Nonstop, though. Two, three of them a month, and she getting on them. Other shows start pu pulling up opportunities. Cool, mm -hmm. you can branch off. I'm not mad at you about that. Right. But you feel me? When it come down to speaking on my business, I never had no business with you. I gave you opportunities. You feel me? Like Thanks. If we were speaking on business, then we speak on how you stole me money for studio time. Because your, your song was... You feel me? Made in the studio to, when I paid for the right. time. Right, if anything, you deserve it just, exactly the producer credit. Feel, yeah, I mean, shit, not even that for real shit. Just throw me back the money I paid for you to record right. that motherfucker. It was damn near like an hour and a half, two hours. And that's all Q is, is a hater who has nothing to do with my success and wants to just pull on every little thing talking about he made me and, oh, he paid for my studio time and all these fucking lies. And I don't owe him no money. He helped me record one song, Peaches. Which he invited me to a studio session. He didn't say he was paying for it, nothing. He was, I was just there and he said, if I wanted to get in there, I'd do it. Cool. Recorded it. Said I'd give him a free photo shoot. Never happened. We were exchanging a photo shoot for me recording at that day. If you want $40 for your recording session that you so badly because you so fucking broke, I don't like when a cash app be $40. Like, quit playing with me. Just pay me that back. You feel me? I ain't mad at you. Shit. You got yours. Do well, you like, you that's a third of the session, wasn't it? It was like six, six hours, hour right? Six-hour session, you feel me? But I ain't tripping, you feel me? I'm going to order Chipotle on DoorDash, wait for my Chipotle, eat that shit and Chill watch the video shit, you feel me? Like, get to the point now, you feel me? It, what really bothered me when it started getting to certain shit, you feel me, was when it got into the point of, uh, uh, what's it, uh, what's it, uh, uh, culture appropriation bro like mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. i seen when shorty came onto the show you feel me and she she it was like she felt she really she was running this motherfucker but she came in here and got into it with gts over a situation that had nothing to do with my mans and that's my mans i've been rolled roll with for him. I, all my, anybody that know me for real say cute to roll with me you feel me he rolled for me you feel me like times when i ain't have to bro you feel me i lost i lost out on an audition one time I was supposed to audition for America's Got Talent, bro. I was I was, I, I was supposed to slide to Chicago the very next two days later. Mm -hmm. I, that Wednesday, we went up to Dayton to this spot called The Mask. On Wednesdays, it's college nights. Typically, it was a gay club, you feel okay. me? So we go up there because it was hella females, you feel me? Go Always. up there, promote, get people out, you feel me? Hey, come down to the city. We're going to take care of you, yada, yada, boom. It was effective. We used to meet hella bad slims. I met a girl that looked like Rihanna, bro, without the forehead. Oh, my God. Hold on. The forehead is the best part. You can't right, do that. But, you can't but, do that. that. No, because no, in the forehead is knowledge. And she was so she exactly. you feel me. So no, 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 no. But I didn't want her for the knowledge. Well, I wanted her for, for the, the knowledge. knowledge. Yeah, but yeah, I, didn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah, you feel me? But bro, bad slimy, bro. It was the, it, the nicest shit ever. We it was a gimmick that we put together. Right. So that I'm sleep. I know I got to be out in two days. I'm packed up, everything ready. Time of my life. I sent a video audition in. They tell me, we want you to come in for the round. I get to skip all that extra stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm in there. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Man, my dudes come and get me. It's like 10 o'clock at night. Bro, come on. Hunking the horn in front of my shit. I get up. Like, bro, what y'all on, bro? Man, come on. We going up to the mask, bro. Let's go promote. Da -da -da -da. All right, man. I'm going to just tell y'all now. I'm going to sleep. Bro, come on. We didn't already drink. We need somebody to drive. God damn motherfucker. Feel me? Like, can't, can't have that on my conscience. I'm the last one to talk to these cats. They drive, and you know what I mean? All right, I got you. Nice. I'd have been yeah. like, why did y'all come? You feel me? I ain't, you feel me? But yeah, right yeah, there yeah, in the yeah, car, so. right here in this parking spot. And they they vouch to it, bro. Like I, I'm driving up 75. I'm I, I'm sleepy for real. I, the drive is a good 35, 40. I don't really want to be driving a pickup truck Facts. pull up next to me, bro. I don't nah, know what nah, the nah. fuck was going on. Pickup truck pull up next to me. He rev his engine. Like what is you doing? You trying to what? So my Race? dude, oh, yeah. man. I look over. I was like. <laughs> took off on him, bro. God, I did. I ain't gonna lie. I did. <laughs> they ain't shit to do when you driving. Like, what was it, Dayton? Yeah. Going yeah, down. Yeah, that's, that's, going. The perfect, that's the perfect stretch, too. Man, cop yeah, clocked me going 112, bro. <laughs> mm. And I'm racing the pickup truck, and he beat me, though. He beat me. I'm not even gonna hold you. He, oh, hell he, no. he revved up and got his. I slowed down, and he came through, and I, I'm, that's why I hit 112. The, clock, the cop get me because I'm in the left lane, though. Mm. Then he pulled me over. I got warrants. <laughs> I go to jail. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm locked up for like a month on some shit that I didn't do. You feel mm, me? Like, then you have to be there. Get out. You feel me? Saudi. Missed the audition and everything. Didn't even get that opportunity back. That's fucked didn't up. Didn't even get mad at my niggas. You feel me? Just was good that they would say. Just nah, to go hard nah, at me. You feel me? I feel like, like the lesson in that was, you know, sometimes you got to let motherfuckers live their own life and you live yours. Yeah, you feel me? And that's that's where I'm at now with this shit. You feel me? I'm not. I'm doing, doing shit for people. And that's why people mad at me. That's mm -hmm. why people don't like Q. Q mad because Q... 
the, or motherfuckers mad at Q because Q the type of motherfucker that'll help you for so long and see if you ain't getting the picture, you ain't getting it no more. Right. You feel me? Like the people that I engage with, like you feel me? Like my dude DDD, for instance, bro. Like known the man for years. You feel me? I always got the gas. You feel me? He used to always walk in. We used to bird man, nigga. You feel me? <laughs> we knew what it was. You feel me? He got to drop him, drop him. You feel me? It's there. We roll up, kick it, chill back. Get to see him later on. You feel me? Set a party in March. Get to talking. You feel me? Bro, go on tour with us to Wiz Khalifa. You feel me? Right. He doing his thing. Bro. I mean, he's talking to the celebrities before I'm talking to the celebrities. I got to sit down with Wiz. We get into that shit too. I was supposed to sit down with Taylor Gang and everything, bro. Okay. okay. Fuck around. Man, everything cool. You feel me? You look like you would be fitting with Taylor Gang. On game, bro. The, the whole vibe was there, bro. Like, the, I got, I got, I got yeah, footage no, and everything, bro. I was there. Bro. I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Was yeah, there. you remember, bro, when motherfucker took the video footage of me walking back with the, I mean, we, bro, we, we back there with VIP everything, bro. You feel me? Everything was 100. You feel me? But back to my dude, like, bro, like, he did his, he did his own thing. It wasn't mm. that, yeah, he got there because of me, like, yeah, because it was because of the show, but he did his own thing. It wasn't the fact that, Oh, I gave him a handout. He worked hard to do that. He showed me, bro, I'm the nigga that can get shit promoted. You mm -hmm. feel me? I'm the motherfucker that can get in with people. Before we even did Wiz Khalifa, he was already pulling up. Hey, bro, let me buy a shirt off of you. The first time I, this nigga come to my crib, bro. <laughs> we making shirts. He like, yeah, bro, uh, you cool if I, uh, you know? I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Sitting there, I'm starting working on shirts. Everything cool. I'm getting the cutouts and everything because I got my own shirt pressing company. Yeah, and I make shirts too. Right. So I'm making my own merch team. Q, make him some shit. You feel me? Working on some customs for him. Man, man, roll up the sh man whole finger, bro. Like four, four grams in the joint, bro. What was it Fronto? Oh, yeah, Fronto leaf, bro. Fronto leaf, bro. So he, 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 asked, he let me hit it. What y'all know about Fronto? Man, look, well, he got me he hip to him, bro. Got me hip to him. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm telling you, DDD. That's a, that's he a trend. I don't know shit. Like I, don't, I ain't gonna hold you. Bro. I don't bro. Bro. a trend setter. Bro. I don't fuck with loose leaf. Nothing. Fuck that. Like, bro, the, the give me a relo. Niggas didn't start wearing the Team Q bandanas until he started, bro. Once he started wearing them, everybody wanted them, bro. And I was like, bro, I get these away, bro. He was like, nah, bro, you should sell these for like five bucks, bro. What the fuck, lotty dog? Like, I'm like, all right. And I started selling them for five, and he was advertising, bro. Motherfucker ate them up, bro. Every show, bandanas gone. The shirts would still be there sometimes. You feel me? Mm. Bandana's gone every time. We didn't have to worry about shit. Mm. But like, I mean, bro, I did his own thing. He showed me like, bro, I can make shit shake at any point in time. It don't matter. As long as you give me the info, I'm going to make it happen. And as long as it's going to make us both some cheese, he about his business. Hell All right, yeah. bro, I'm taking you with me to Wiz Khalifa because I know you can. I don't got to be around you, hold your hand, put you on training wheels. Exactly. My nigga handled his business. Motherfucker got somebody say something. You wouldn't have been or did this or da 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 if it weren't for Q. Nah, I ain't teach that nigga the game. He knew the game himself. He worked his hand and got the opportunity. As right. if you was but like, that's, but that's how it go though. Like if I'm, like I'll, I'll use real people. If I'm Fifty Cent and I just brought in the game and you coming in the room, me, yeah, your connections is through me because yeah. they know that you allow me. So when you come and you do your thing, they're gonna be like, oh, Fifty Cent told him that. In your case, Q told him that. Yeah, because they see you rolling smooth and stuff like that. So they assume. When it's going good, they associate it back to you. Mm -hmm. When it's going bad, it's just the... Associate it back to them. Yeah, on God, on. yeah. <laughs> Fact, yeah, you feel me? And, and, and so the assumption part, you feel me? Mm -hmm. People people would discredit my bro, you feel me? And this is the, the whole... We're going to say the word of the day is discredit. Mm -hmm. Discredit. You mm -hmm. feel me? Non-discreditability. We're going to have a couple of them. Yeah. Okay. Put a prefix on that bitch too if we need to. <laughs> but like motherfuckers that say some shit like, yeah, that he don't be da 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 da, people don't this. Nah, my man, he handle his business, he support. He ain't the type of nigga to expect free. Like if, if it, bro, all right, I'll give you a shirt, but it's going to cost 10 for the labor. All right, I got you, bro. He'll do that. You feel me? Hell, he'll go buy you a shirt too type shit. Hey, I was looking at this vinyl too. I think this would be cold. We should make some shirts like this and come with a whole bag for you. You feel me? If he got it to blow, he going to blow it on you for real. You feel me? Pause. You feel me? Pause. <laughs> Pause, big pause. Pause, pause. Yeah, but in a sense to say, the squad though, like, squad though, yeah, that's yeah, love. Squad, yeah, yeah, you feel me? But like discreditability. Yeah! <laughs> bro, motherfuckers that see something and think that it's something else, and they think that, oh, okay, since it went this way, since somebody ain't fucking with Q no more, but Q the one that's probably did them dirty. And you know, when it come down again to having a, but JJ, you feel mm -hmm. me? That's how it goes. Damn, doing the stress. They see a girl, she give them a sob story, and motherfuckers think it's something that it's not. But the clear of the air, I ain't never had no business set with this girl. For real, I barely know her. I met her in November, and then everything happened in February. After that, it's just been up to times of her just hating on me. This girl got mad at one of her models because her model recorded me. I performed at my man's event, bro. I mm -hmm. performed at his event right before I did Kevin Gates. She came through with her little models, bro. You feel me? Hey. Kicking it, chilling, whatever. Whoop -de -whoop, so you have it. I'm in there. I go last. You feel me? Like, I ain't worried about the time frame. You feel me? I ain't worried about no cheese, no nothing. I tell my dude, like, bro, it was a good opportunity to work with you. My first time working with my man. You feel me? Oh, you, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like, but you, first first time working with him, bro. Mm -hmm. Everything was sweet. Have fun, bro. 
I ain't I don't need no cheese from you, bro. I don't need nothing. I appreciate you. Thank you for the opportunity. You feel me? Let's just work out further business. Right. You feel me? Like not to say, yo, I, I did that, but like, yo, bro, like I'm just trying to see the dream. If that's can, if that's what it takes to make the dream, then let's make the dream. Me and brother rocking ever since. Mm. Motherfucker, see that? Mad as hell. First off, mad because the show happened. <laughs> that was the first thing. Why are you mad about my success? Fuck I do to you. You mad at a nigga because he fucking with me. It's business at this point. But Fact. that goes to show when people don't understand personal business ain't supposed to be mixed. You nope. feel me? She think because, oh, I told you this story about what happened with me and him, which is one, not true. You feel me? And two, uh, uh, bitch, we in hip hop. That's what it is. Even even if it did happen, that's what it is. Shut mm-hmm. up. Like TLC story head ass nigga. You feel me? Like, I ain't going for that. You feel me? Like it's over. But and then but but and then the fact that again the the I came on to her, bro. No, it was never that. I got a screenshot message in my phone right now. Again, I can show you where Shorty has said I never. I, I like doing business with you because you've never made me feel uncomfortable. We've never had any type of interaction like that. Da 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 da. da. You feel me? <laughs> Shorty got mad at her, her Shorty, her friend, because she recorded me while I was performing, bro. You feel me? Like, I'm like, damn, like, you mad at my success. I see you in the bar. I say, what's up? What, what, is, what, is, what is he even mad at? What happened? Right. It's from whatever, I guess from what the story is told, bro, I do bad business with her. I do bad business. And then again, it, it furthered from bad business into the whole, oh, he, he tried to come on to me type shit. Mm. And I, neither one of them is true. We never had, it was favors. She got favors from me. You feel me? And I never came on to her. It was never none of that. You feel me? Like, I was chilling. You feel me? Having fun. We was traveling, going out and seeing the site. She came to Florida with us, bro. Uh, came to Florida, did the Best Believe concert. You feel me? Hell they yeah. wouldn't let her perform. They wouldn't let the girl perform her song. I don't know if it was because of money or whatever. That's her business. You feel right. me? But she came to me about it. She said, they ain't going to let me perform. We sitting in the beach house. You feel me? Mind you, though, motherfuckers really didn't pay nothing to get into that mud. We took care of everything. I cooked all the food, bro, because I went to school for culinary. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. I'm cooking the food and everything, making sure everybody eat. We having fun. You feel me? I don't want nobody to feel bad. I'm trying to mediate the peace between everybody. When for real. I took care of this. I should be having the time of my motherfucking life. Facts. You feel me? Like, the funnest part about it was I ran some jet skis and I got to do the show and shit. The show was kind of cool, too, because I had a show panned out. But, you feel me? She come to my room. She like, yeah, they ain't gonna let me perform my song. I say, I was eating Grippos. I bought some Grippos on the plane. I was eating some. I was, shit. I teach you some shit. It was like pops. Mm-hmm. I put some real shit on you. You know, I'm an older cat. You feel me? Mm-hmm. She she a little older. You feel new, me? New to the game. New to the game. She, she young on the, on, the, mm-hmm. on the schooling, but she a little older to the game. So she should know this in the business sense. Right. Again, she a model. Exactly. Put you on some real shit. There's always a way around that. You feel me? It's always a way around that. You feel me? The only thing that you can't get a way around is heaven or hell. That's what I told her, bro. Oh, God. Or taxes. I got you. Yeah, yeah, taxes. Now, you see, it caught Wesley, yeah, yeah, catch School back up to Wesley. Yeah. Come get you, kid. Man, yeah, yeah, you ain't getting your diploma, man. man you so, big, Rumsey, they still want their money. Oh, my ass. Already, so, I, I tell her, me. like, I just, I got to set, I pay for, you feel me? Like, we good to go. I got to set that I pay for, you know, I got you. You would just perform on my song. You feel me? You can perform on my set. You know? I am the greatest. You know, everything kosher, everything good. Like, just perform on mine, you good, you go right before me. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. You feel me? Where them thank yous and shit at now? You feel me? Like when the motherfucker was out, you was out of Florida with us. We go to Evolve. Motherfuckers couldn't, we in there looking common. So I'm like, nah, I want everybody in this bitch to look good. Hey, y'all want to get VIP? Of course everybody want right. to fucking get VIP. <laughs> right, of course. Of course like, right, like, nah, like, man, I want to be, I I wanna be, up, I I wanna be down here with the normal people. I'm like, I'm like, how much is hey, VIP? Sometimes they like, the bitch be in the normal area. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, but no, I'm you're like, not wrong. You're yeah, not wrong. Not, yeah, for sure. I'm like, I'm like, how much is for VIP? Taxing. All right, y'all, look, this is what they're talking about for VIP, but we can get a bottle. Everybody crickets, except two motherfuckers. Mm. All right, I go get a bottle. You feel me? We go and get a bottle. Motherfuckers sitting there and drinking the fuck out that of bottle, course, though. Of when, course. As soon as that sparkler came out on top of that court, guess who the fuck was sitting down? You feel me? Yeah, nigga. You feel me? Like, I ain't even got to say the name. Y'all know who the fuck was sitting down. Don't ever speak on my name like that, bro. And then, all right, we get further from that. We get back home. Mm-hmm. Twister happened. You feel me? We do the Twister show. Right. Everything cool. They spoke on everything with that. Beforehand, I, I hit everybody up in the group chat because we went to Florida. We had a Florida group chat. You feel me? In the group chat, I say, yo, y'all know I'm throwing the event. All y'all my peoples, I appreciate everybody for what they did for me. You feel me? Like After the whole situation in February, asking her if she wanted to do Twister and she declined, she, she ain't been speaking to me. You feel me? And right. then we have a situation with... This cat came through his name, Brad Cole. Shouts to Brad Cole, man. That's my dude, man. He, he be doing the podcast out here, too. Okay. But my man came at me with an idea about a tour bus. And I, I promise, hand to God, bro, if he listen to this, he can vouch for it, bro. He, he, 
everybody at the studio was kind of playing bread to the left. They didn't think he was serious. So Damn. I took a leap of faith, bro. Let's go fuck with you. I'm out. Let we go out. You feel me? Bro, I did the podcast. We was in a funeral home. You feel me? Like, Damn. it was that I- iffy vibes, bro. You feel yeah. me? Like, I ain't gonna lie. Scary was, shit. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, you just couple. met this nigga, yeah, too? Like, yeah, met him, like, straight to the funeral? Like, yeah, a week ago. Nah, you feel nah, me? Who the fuck is you, the Undertaker? Man, nah. Put me in the creamery or something, you feel me? Like, man, me and we doing the podcast, we get to kicking it, bro. Enthusiastic, though, bro. Like, super pumped because he didn't got to hear about me, you know what I mean? But hadn't met me yet and then mm. met me and then, oh, you coming through tomorrow type shit? Yeah, bro, I got you. Like, so, like, he tell me, bro, ain't nobody in the city been fucking with me for real. I've been trying to get everybody to do podcasts, bro. And my plan was to just do, uh, he, he got, he was getting a tour bus. He was going to get a bus. He was going to pimp it out. And he was going to leave and go cross country mm. and just do podcasts. He was Hell like, yeah. oh, me, my wife, my kids, we all for it. We about to go do it. Like, I got some scratch. I'm going to make it shake. Business opportunity. I'm thinking about it. I'm about to show love to this nigga. What? Right. I'm like, bro, anytime you need anything, let, let me know. You feel me? So he say, look, I want to do podcasts with all the people. You feel me? Fuck around. Make a group chat. Motherfuckers, I told everybody what was going on. The the record label wasn't my label. You feel me? Right. It wasn't my label at all. I was just helping niggas manage it because I knew the most. You feel me? So right. when it came down to it, I approached him like, all right, bro, you big homie. So I'm going to tell you what's up. You feel me? Bro, like, all right, cool. You feel me? Got whatever going on with him. The the message wasn't there, I guess. You feel me? Mm-hmm. The message wasn't there. You feel me? Right. Fuck around. <laughs> niggas in there kicking it, bro. He hit me with the group chat message, hey, invite everybody. So I invite everybody to the, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers go around me, you know what I mean? The person, the guess who, Ha-cha! went around me, hit motherfuckers up, talking about, yeah, this is what's going on, da-da-da-da. Invite him to the chat. Motherfuckers get on the chat, going off, this, that, and the third, talking about they ain't know nothing about it. They co-signing for it. This nigga nutty, you feel me? He, he like, oh, oh, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. Well, look, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm just hoping to do some business. I respect what you're doing, bro. You know, I, whatever, you the boss. He tell him, you the boss in the group chat message. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, this nigga going out sad. You feel me? Shout out, you know what I mean? Shout out to bro, but you feel me? Like, nah, nigga, put your nuts on the table, bro, for real. Like, the business was sad, you feel me? So, bro, talking about, like, you got this, you got you. Whoever did this need to holler at me. So, mm-hmm. all right, nigga, I'm about to holler at you. I call this nigga. He don't answer. I message him on Facebook. I see the, the green bubble. Right. Bleep, nigga, you about to catch a message. What's up, bro? You feel me? Like, none of that shit is about to happen. It's disrespectful as fuck to what I'm doing. I don't even need this at this point, for real, for real. Like, I could be worried about me and just going to do my own thing. Exactly. I have a, a back pedal of artists that I've been on tour and, and opened up for. I throw my own parties. I have the knowledge mm-hmm. to do what I need to do. You feel exactly. me? I'm trying to put other niggas on game so we can build something and really go somewhere. Yeah. You feel me? You can you can you can build build quick if you go together. You feel me? Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Or, or like if you that. build by yourself, you can go far. You feel me? That's you can build quick, separate, do what you got to do, and then mm-hmm. if you want to be by yourself, be by yourself. Fuck it. You feel me? Like, man, fuck around. Nah, bro, my bad. You know, I, I just been going through a lot. Da da da. Begging me, don't leave, bro. I fuck with you. This, that, and the third. Da da da. da. All right, bro. I'm fucking with y'all, but I'm not fucking with that. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. y'all business is y'all business. Now I'm gonna worry about me. Our studio shit, everything we got going, that's that's cool. You feel me? Right. So, Fuck around. After I say we need to have a meeting. All right, we gonna have a meeting. That's cool. Big homie coming. We gonna have a meeting. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, cool. Get in. All the artists. Only time we were supposed to have a meeting and it was announced. You feel me? That I needed everybody there. Everybody show up. Mm-hmm. Any other time it was supposed to be a meeting, nobody show up. There wasn't no respect there. You feel me? So you know where the respect lie. We get in there. I tell everybody three rules. I say, hey, look, I ain't fucking on that motherfucker up in here. You feel me? Y'all, y'all need to do the same. And if y'all see me on it, call me out, period. I ain't trying to fraternize or nothing with, you feel me? These are all people that you're supposed to consider family. None of that extra stuff going on. Number two, keep y'all stuff off social media. You feel me? Like, people look at you. The things you say are misinterpreted wrongly anytime. You feel me? You can mm-hmm. say something good and it still get misinterpreted exactly. bad. And number three, y'all corny for what y'all said to bro in that group chat. Y'all owe this man an apology. You feel me? You feel, I could have been like, y'all owe me and him and y'all owe him an apology. You feel me? The end of the day, you feel me? Like that, that was corny. You feel yeah, me? And, and uh, everybody got out the group chat, and bro just kind of sitting there like, damn. So here go my plans going to shit because I had all this ready to go. Mm. You feel me? Like so, bro ended up leaving. Still got the tour bus. Okay. Damn, bro. Could have had that tour bus. You feel me? Could have, bro. Could have stayed. You know what I mean? But like, hey, bro, where y'all want to go on tour? Are we going to Lexington, West Virginia? Instead of riding out in six, seven cars, been out on a bus. Everybody right. vibing, shooting video footage, having fun and connecting. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. one motherfucker let they pride get to him, want to be funny. All that shit go to shit. So now everybody just suffered because one motherfucker want to be that way. You feel me? Gotcha. So I tell you, you feel me? Iron sharp and iron. You feel me? If I'm fucking up, call me out on it. Y'all was corny for what y'all did. That was if you if anything, motherfucker should have just. You know what I mean, hey, do I don't know about this? Whatever. Don't add him to the group chat or whatever. That whatever because he ain't handling none of the business anyway. His direct approach was, hey, I just want to worry about the studio stuff. Y'all handle all that other stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Anytime you talk to him, bro, I'm, I'm, this is me. Everything else is y'all. I told you what was going on. Why do you need to be there for the meeting or anything else? You're not even going to come if I give you the invite. You feel me? Right. And out of respect, I'm still telling you, even though you're telling me, you don't even need to hear about it. You feel me? So, again, it was corny that y'all did that and got this man riled up. Only to fuck up everything that this nigga just created for real, for real. Because, again, all the shows and shit was coming from me. Everything up to Twister before I stopped doing it. You feel me? Right. So, Twister come up. The girl ain't fucking with me at this point. You feel me? She in the group chat reading the messages. But anytime I post something, she don't comment behind it. But anytime anybody else say something, she fucking with it. You feel me? Right. right. I understand. I see the energy. I figured it out. Like I was saying, I'm probably not the most easiest long motherfucker to get with. You feel me? Like... And I might say some shit that people might take offensive because of how I say it, but I mean well, you feel me? Right. But a motherfucker got to know when they wrong, and that was wrong. Let alone, but you grown. You grown. Mm-hmm. You older than me. And if I'm telling you this, then there's obviously a problem. You feel what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? Like, so that's where it got to be, you know what I mean, crazy. So I hit everybody up two days before the event. I say, yo, I got Twisted VIP with tables. You feel me? The bottles was given to me because of what I did for the venue. Right. I say, look, $40 a head, and I'm going to get y'all a seat. For real, it was 40 just to get in the VIP. Fuck a seat. You feel me? <laughs> and, and then to get a seat, a table, a booth, it was even up further, let mm. alone a bottle, $200. Right. $40, you get a seat at a table. I got four tables in a booth, all the right side, because I wanted to do right for my peoples. I right. appreciate y'all, right? If any of y'all peoples want to get on so y'all don't feel uncomfortable up in VIP like y'all by yourself, they get the same amenity. Guess who hit me up? Peaches. I got 10 people that want to get it. All right, that's cool. Send me the 40. I ain't heard from you since, mm-hmm. but you feel me? That's cool. Send it to me. You feel me? Send it to me, whatever. We get it all set. They go by. You got the day before Twister. She messaged me. Got the messages in my phone. Unless she do, unless she do that same shit all these other rappers do, remove messages and unsend it. I, I think there's like, there's a it's time crazy, limit. Shit. There's a time limit on it. Like, if, if they do it immediately, it's removed for me. So if I say fuck yeah. you, and then I'm like, remove is removed from both of us, but it has to be within the time limit. Okay. I think it's like yeah, it says like it's unsent. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be like two two minutes. If even if after the two minutes, if they remove it, it's still there for you though. Oh damn! But for there is a lurk though. Like I was reading up on it. Okay, um, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. It's, okay. it's a time limit on it. Yeah, so you know, so like. She like, yeah, I got I got these people that want to get in, send it to me, whatever, whoop de whoop. They get all the bottle service or whatever. She brought all her models too. Like, right. Some of them, you know, some of them ain't there no more. Rusty. <laughs> yeah, it was some musty ones up in there too. Hey, hey man, you know, you know, you some know of but them they they, they do their thing. They ain't got nothing to do with her, you feel me? But put on some young deodorant next time. <laughs> but uh Take man, you know, Take they all in there. Everything cool, it's copacetic. Oh hey Q, what's up? Da 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 da. You feel me? <laughs> We in there kicking it, everybody vibing. But be the day before, though, she said, well, since I sold 10 <laughs> VIPs, you should let me perform my song. What? I approached you about doing the show before. I told you just move ticket sales or pay up front for the tickets, and you can do whatever you need to do with it. You didn't want to do that. So, But now, since you did a little bit of work, you straight? Nah, it's not going to work that way. I told her, nah, it's over. I ain't got the time for it. Made her way in on the backside, and then made a joke about it. Like, yeah, I didn't. I, I snuck around people to perform at your shit. Nah, for real, you didn't. Once I seen the song, I could have cut it. I let the shit go because, you feel me, I ain't that type of nigga. I ain't going to embarrass you in front of 500 motherfuckers. Let alone, shorty, I put you in VIP for next to low dollar. You got an 80% discount. Don't play me. You feel me? Like, Mm -hmm. let alone with a bottle, too, and you in there chilling. You not buying shots. I was definitely drinking off them bottles. Seeing them bottles was being depleted. You feel me? I'm downstairs running with my head cut off, making sure everything good. I don't even get to drink off my own bottles. I got to tell the bartender, hey, make me a shot. I'll be around in 10 minutes. You feel me? But everybody... Turned, lit, bro. Drunk as hell. Motherfuckers bumping up on me. I go up there right as Twist about to perform to get some video footage. Because I had some niggas that was hating on the set. Had to let them know, bro, now nah, this is what we do. You feel me? Period. We throw slam ass events like this. You feel me? Like, right. And again, it ain't never been no business with y'all either, but we still good. You feel me? Like, take the video. They all bumping up on me. They drunk, whatever. Whoop de whoop. You feel me? I'm like, okay, you feel me? This is whatever. I'm not going to say nothing about it. You feel me? I don't mention nothing until the event is over. Mm. All right, so I go holler at Twister right after you get done. Right. They come at me like, you know, we want some girls. We want some bitches. You know, security walk up on me. We talking. I take my picture with them and everything. We talking some talk. You feel me? Right. Get to talking to management, potential feature, all that. You know, mm-hmm. we just trying to work that business, rub some shoulders. Right? They invited us up to Wooster to come up there for the camera airboy. It was uh, Doobie. Uh, uh, Twister, Cameron, Airborne, and a couple other cats, bro. They invite us up there. They go, we gonna take care of y'all. Come up, bro. You know it's right up there towards Akron. Yeah, I went to college. Y'all. Okay, so you was it. We we handling. You feel me? Hand, having business. Man, I'm telling you, we in there kicking it, bro. 
They say, yeah, he want to get some girls. He wants some girls that are the dust. So I'm, I'm all right. I got you. Your wish is my command. I got you. Because, again, I want to help people. Right. Hey, uh, you come with me. You want to talk? You want to meet Twister? You want any female? You feel me? Any bad female in there? Yeah, I want to meet Twister. Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, thank you, Q. You so sweet. All that shit. You feel right. me? I'm, I'm walking. And as I'm walking towards the door, TH, you know how TH is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you come in, she's walking inside. I stop everything I'm doing. Like, in my head, I'm like, bro, what the fuck you on? You, she, she part of the camp. Put her on. You feel me? I say, nah, nah, nah. I, say, I tell them, I say, hey, y'all wait for the, by the door. I grab Hefe. You feel me? I say, hey, bro, grab Peaches and all her models and just take them up to VIP. These girls eventually going to leave. You feel me? Mm -hmm. He say, hey, Peaches, Peaches, I need you to get your models. Make her look good as fuck, though. I need, right. you, I need you and your models to come with me. Da -da -da -da. Exactly. She go get them all. They all going in there. They up there chilling. They kicking it with Twister. At that point, okay, you worked your business. You feel me? You doing your thing. But again, if it wasn't for me, I could have shut all this shit down. You wouldn't have got that opportunity. Exactly. You feel me? So when all this Q do bad business and this, that, and the third, I'm doing favors for you. And didn't even reprimand you for it, for real, for real. Like, I didn't come at her crazy about her doing that song. I came at bro crazy because it was his fault, for real, for real. Yeah, she did the scheming. You feel me? He fell for it. But, bro, don't fall for that next time. It wasn't me telling like, bro, that, I'm mad at you. That It's like, bro, just don't fall for shit like that. You know what I mean? Certain business tactics, you could have made them ticket sales, you know what I mean? Your own way, you feel me? You could have made shit shake, you feel me? Like, luckily I did meet bro off of it, you feel me? Like, but it's like, bro, at the end of the day, you got to keep your shit right because shit like that make you look bad. And if, if it's me, me knowing you, all right, cool. But the next motherfucker ain't going to want to do business with you off of some shit like that. Mm -hmm. They go, oh, nah, bro, 20, 10, 15 minutes over your set? And it was minimal, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't hella, hella motherfucking tickets that got sold? Like, nah, bro, it's over for that shit. You can't do that, you know what I right. mean? Like, so, like, I mean... Everything happened with that. We in the group chat one day. They got another concert for the Cat Bears Believe, bro. Bro say, they, they jump in the chat, man. You see, after, after the Twister, she went rocking with me no more, bro. Right back to the same shit. Mm -hmm. Petr petrification. It's stone in between us. Bro. Right. You feel me? She say, uh, she sent a fly through. It's the Bears Believe concert. Her and another artist. I don't say nothing. You feel me? Keeping the peace. Because, again, I don't like to be all in the drama. My homie asked me. He say, hey, bro. Uh, Q, you going? I say, nah, I don't really rock with dude personally. You feel me? With the business, how we did, you mm -hmm. feel me? It wasn't there. So I'm cool. She get on there, comment under mine. Well, your beef ain't got nothing to do with me. Oh, 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 no, this didn't, bro. No, she, I've been riding for you for real, for real. Even mm -hmm. after you done gave me the cold shoulder, I'm putting you on. You feel me? You ain't about to come at me like that. Now, again, we've been talking for a little minute. I told you about the credentials, a M MTV. I auditioned for America's Got Talent the second time. I missed out. And then right. uh, we had uh, So You Think You Can Dance. You feel me? I did an HBO special in Nashville, right? So, like, she get in there. She, all this extra stuff. You, you wanted to control me. You wanted to this. You wanted that. I said, Shorty, I didn't even want to manage you. I never even asked you to let me manage you. You feel me? We was cool. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. everything was straight. It was copacetic. I was just doing favors for you. Right. You feel me? Like, she, like... Da, da 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 this, that, and the third. I'm like, well, since we talking about, she's like, uh, but she's like, you've been doing this for six months, and uh, I've been doing this for, uh, or I've been doing this for six months, you've been doing this for six years, I done surpassed you. Right. I say, what? Like, I'm looking at these messages, I'm, I'm sitting next to my people, I'm like, bro, is she really coming at me like this? Like, this is wild as a motherfucker, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. so I hit her with it, you feel me? At this point, I'm like, damn, I'm kind of am disappointed that you done came at me with this corny ass shit, but if right. we gonna do this, let's do this, you feel me? I feel it. All right, shorty, I paid for your studio session. I had to tell motherfuckers to not do a part of the song that you knew you shouldn't have did. Like, and then you told me somebody wrote it for you. You knew it, I won't even say what, bro. It was culture appropriation. That's what put it there at first. Bro. Right. You feel me? Like it, it was. It wasn't. Hold that thought real quick. I'll be right back. All right. So, cultural appropriation. Yeah, man. So, I'm like, yo, you know, like we in the studio, bro. Motherfucker doing it, they, they, they in my session, you feel me, doing their thing, whatever. They get to doing the song. First thing was, she ain't like really being in the spot with a whole bunch of people there, you right. feel me? So like, that was, we. some people had to slide, you know what I mean? Like, but it was, because usually I would do a Tuesday, six-hour session, hella motherfucker slide through, get drunk, kick it, whatever, on the dollar. We had fun, fuck it, like. So like, she was like, yeah, I don't like being around a lot of people, so I had to make some people slide. So we sitting there, and uh, I can't even say the words for real, bro, just because like, you know what I mean, like, it ain't even, mm. It's it's just it's distasteful, bro. But you know I mean, like the, the 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 essence of it was white girl. That was that was the two words that was mm -hmm. used in the and it was comparing white girls to every other ethnicity. That's what you're gonna hear right. as soon as you hear that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I stop it. I say, nah, you can't say that. Like, you you know how many motherfuckers gonna be mad at you every time you perform? You gonna have every black bitch 
beige bitch, whatever. Every female gonna want to fuck you up because mm -hmm. you already you you already trying to, to separate, separate yourself. Yeah, you feel me? Like if anything, go for women empowerment. You feel me? Exactly. I get that. Ah, oh, this dude wrote it for me. Da, 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 da. I said, bro, I don't give a fuck if Tyler Perry wrote that shit, bro. You not saying that on my session, bro. If you if that's where it's going, then you got to pay for this. You feel me? Right. Like that's I just can't accept that. You feel me? That's I feel me. That. I mean, that's just the the way I move for real, for real. Like you feel me? Like it's just if I ain't standing on it, I don't want to be a part of that shit for real. For nah, real. that's a that's a that's a thing in like feminist culture. It's like um, a lot of white feminists just just silence any any woman of color. Yeah. And, and, it, and put themselves towards the forefront. And and I think it, it's it's kind of corny for real. So it's actually a lot of corny. It's, a lot of corny. A whole corny. lot of corny. All corn on the cob. High fructose. You feel me? So 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 the, the pedal passed that. Then it was, oh, I did this, I did that. I'm like, shorty, you realize like I saved you with your first song. If you would have went and did that the way you did it, you would have been in trouble. I gave you advice. You feel me? And I didn't ask nothing from you. I you nothing cost when it came to anything but that VIP. Like when I put you on all these shows, you sell tickets, you get paid. You feel right. me? You brought people out. Hey. Pick up your cheese, do your thing, you feel me? It was never nothing as far as any cheese and business that was supposed to go past with her, bro. Mm -hmm. Period, you feel me? So all that shit was, I mean, it was just corny for real, for real. So now we get into the point of, oh, yeah, I, we see them out. I see her I see her out with her people like maybe a week and a half ago, some shit like that. Mm -hmm. And Shorty, had to, she had something to say. I mean, like, couldn't approach me, but had something to say. Right. But, like, this is the last time I've seen the girl up to the point of when we were supposed to squash all this shit when I was with Foot. You feel me? I performed at his, at his event. Facts. Right before I did the tour with uh, Kevin Gates. You feel me? Like, she walked up on me. Hey, how you doing? I see a high tour, though, when I walked in already. You feel me? Like, when I, she walked up on me and she was like, so we going to squash this beef? And I was smoking. I took the smoke out. I was like, here, like, you can hit this. I said, but I was like, I don't have no beef with you. I don't have no beef with nobody. Like, I don't hate anybody. I don't want nobody to not make it. Like, even with everything that was going on, when I sensed it, you feel me? I knew, you feel me, what was already going on, but I was still throwing you a bone. Like, I right. didn't have to give you VIP for that low budget price. You feel me? That made you look good, not me. That mm -hmm. took money out of my pocket. I could have sold those to motherfuckers the right ride. You feel me? And made bread off of it. But instead, I was looking out. Didn't have to tell him to go get, you know, to go grab you and your models to go see Twist. I could have grabbed these random five, six, seven girls, you feel me? And let them go do ball out, whatever they about to do with them niggas, you feel right, me? Right, exactly. You know what I mean? So, like, when it come down to it, bro, just pay homage, you feel me? Like, I don't need no apology from the bitch or nothing at this point, you feel me? Like, it's not worth anything to me, for real, for real, because of what it goes on. But all I'm asking, bro, is let this shit go, you feel me? For real, because we could really get into a whole deeper segment of this. It's a lot more motherfuckers don't know. But I'm chilling, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, hell, Shorty told me I was a washed up rapper and had to hand me two awards at the award ceremony, like, in, what was it, in August, September, some shit like that? Hand me two awards, you feel me? But I'm a washed up rapper, and you 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 putting this right. all on. You helping these people, you feel me? Like, and then posted this shit on her, on her page. And I wasn't mad that she posted it on her page because it's promotion. I guess the only problem I had was, like, who the fuck took the video, bro? Like, you feel me? Like, the resolution of that video was fucking shitty. Thought it was like a Nokia, bro. Mm. Some shit, bro. You Damn, know, not the brick. The one, yeah, the uh, the one that had the rubber side. Yeah, you, can take the, you feel me? That's that the one that lit up like yeah, a bitch, yo. Yeah, that was the quality it gave me, bro. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. We can't do this. We got to get something better. Like, mm -hmm. I need somebody. You feel me? Like, just just for future references, if they listen to this too, whoever did that, they can't do that no more. Nah, nah, that was again. not good resolution again. to the camera. You gotta get my good side, goddamn it. You yeah. feel me? But to say it all, bro. Like, even with other artists in the city, bro, I don't have no beef with nobody. Like, I just know when it come to business. You can't take it personal. You feel me? Like if I don't perform and the nigga say something, you feel me? I I, I respect if you say, "Hey, bro, something came up. You can't perform." Mm -hmm. You feel me? Instead of giving me the run around halfway in or whatever, you feel me? And yeah. I ain't mad about it. I still come through, show love, whatever. You feel me? Some niggas be like, "Oh, bro, you could put me on," and you be like, "Yeah, bro, come through." And ain't this shit? They ain't this shit? You mm -hmm. feel me? They ain't sell no tickets. They wasn't on the fly. Nothing. They was just one of them. Hey, one of them. Hey, bro, you got some time, bro. Put me on the slot, bro. You one of them type of niggas, you feel me? And then they can't perform because you ain't got time, and then them niggas ain't fucking with you no more. Mm. Like, bro, what? You didn't do shit for this event, bro. You didn't help. You didn't sell no tickets. You didn't promote it. You didn't share no flyers. You did nothing. Right. But you want in for free. Mm. You want to perform. And when I tell you no, you mad. I got to look out for everybody? Hell no, nah, I don't. I got to look out for myself. Just like them niggas is doing, right? Because right. that's what we all supposed to do, correct? I mean, I, I don't see nobody else looking out for the next motherfucker and, and them going broke or dry and being mm -hmm. homeless or whatever, you feel me? <clears throat> right. Motherfuckers don't do that for the next motherfucker. And for real, what's crazy is some motherfuckers used to do that for real back in the day. You had people that would sponsor or put money behind a motherfucker and damn near going broke trying to see them make it. But motherfuckers switch up like seasons, bro. I done seen, man, hell, the niggas that I'm with now, bro, is, it was 80% of them niggas that was with us a year ago today. 
ain't with us no more. Hell, if you mm. look at the video, you're going to be like, bro, where did half of these people even go? That's crazy. You feel me? Like, I mean, it's, it's just wow. But I don't got no no hate or no ill will towards nobody because I understand business. Other motherfuckers take it personal. You feel right. me? And, and that brings that brings pretty much brings this to a whole head for real because that's what that's what the whole situation was that this man does bad business and that's not true yeah, based yeah, off bro. of what we heard. It's kind of like mean girls. Bro. Okay, if, 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 I know everybody has seen mean girls. Oh, feel free to come come up on the mic, bro. Yeah. No, we got we got open spot. Big eighteen foot. Big eighteen foot coming through real quick. Hello. Hello. How you doing? All right. So in a sense, it's kind of like Mean Girls. You know how Katie, she sat up there, came to a new school, got in good with Regina. And, well, actually, now she got in good with that one group, the Dyke Chick and the. Uh, I guess I'll talk to the mic. Talk to the mic. Talk to And then, uh, and then what happened? She was cool with them. Then she saw Regina George and all of them started kicking it with them. Then started seeing how their life was. Right. Started taking their life over. Then stole Regina's friends and all that shit. You know, yeah. You know, but it's, this is this is kind of how it is. Mean girls. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That's the, I feel like that's the best way to put it for everybody to get it because everybody don't seen that movie and know how it is. Yeah, I, that's I actually, shit. I actually have not seen. You that have movie. not seen that's that. Why I'm just kind of shaking. Oh no, no, it's like no, for real. Don't see that, bro. That shit accurate. That shit accurate. You should that's check it out. Damn, so it's just a classic, huh? It's a decent movie. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good movie. It's, wor it's worth the watch. Yeah, bro, but even with the radio station, bro, when she came in here and got into it with GTS, bro, now the whole story was that we was her ops because we tried to set her up or we was some other shit and she was getting threats from motherfuckers. Nah, that ain't got, we don't send threats. It wasn't even. Send promises. I, I was here. It wasn't a threat. It wasn't a threat. It was the fact that John Connor I had called, called through in and, and, and told because, her she owed some money and she got mad and started going off. Exactly. Said, hey, look, chill. This ain't what we going to do. And she tried podcast. to put all the blame on GTS when the whole fact of the matter was GTS doesn't have John Connor blocks. Well, you have John Connor blocked. Yeah. So just because you have John Connor blocked doesn't, doesn't mean, mean John Connor can't see what you're doing with other people if they tag you in their shows. On oh, my mama, you feel me? And that was and that she blamed it on on, on Busy One Radio, Some like we her ops and we owe her an apology. And I'm sitting there. And I was not, and I was I was the guy who was who was orchestrating to actually get her the apology. apology. Yeah, you feel me? But then what, what was even crazier though is is after you gave her the apology. The situation that came on with uh the, the status that was made a couple months later by a motherfucker talking they shit. And she if you gave her an apology out of all respect, it shouldn't be no funny business. But as soon as other motherfuckers is trying to tag Busy One Radio talking they shit, another motherfucker want to piggyback off of it. Right. But you just got an apology, which you demanded. The motherfucker gave right. it to you. And you can't even for real, for real own up to being a real motherfucker and just letting shit be shit because you personal. You feel me? And what did it, though, to be honest with you, you seen, if you watched that video, he played Add It Up. And as soon as he played Add It Up, over, bro. It mm -hmm. set her off. Hey, yo! Who is this blessing my radio? Mr. John Connor. Mr. John Connor. How are we doing? Doing great. Welcome to the GTS show, man. Who you showing your love to today? Definitely not me. Ah, that's so. Oh, it's a lot of hatred. It's a lot of hatred. <laughs> Why so much hate? Or we don't David, bring that on this or show. Or David, you know, I don't we don't, know. We don't know what his show. name is. Is he out here scamming all these starving artists? He can don't even give you stars. Hey, just make sure y'all never. Y'all know no how we do, man. We don't, we don't. John do We don't do no haters, man. If you gonna hate on the show, he man, you better say what the fuck you are. As well, and we don't call on that beef bullshit because I will flame your ass while you on my show. So. One more time, man. We're going to run right back to these tracks, man. We ain't just about to worry about who was just on my radio because the haters don't even know. Hey, uh, yo, who is this blessing my radio? I just had the real these streets, man. Represent Houston, man. The world is yours. The streets is mine. Yeah. I hear that. I hear that. I hear you, God. How you feeling, man? DJ Sapp, I ain't mean to cut you off your set, man. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Your music, man. Oh, for sure. Your policy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell you something, man. You know, everything cool. Man, she's doing what y'all doing. Stay focused. You know what I mean? I have a situation now. I'm going to get to that. Take up y'all time. Yeah. Can't just shoot me that $20 back to that T-shirt you never gave me. <laughs> 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 How about you guys still keep these rental cars, you punk-ass bitch? Oh, uh, Lord. Hey, Lord. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hey, how about those bangles? Right. Uh, like, it's hella like that, though. Be easy. Uh, nah, nah. Now they're going to keep easy. all the obstacles. Keep calling in. I'm, I'm turned. What's up? It, even the shit with John Connor, yeah, had her pissed off. She was going off. But then right after, bro was like, hey, we need to chill that out. Yeah, we got some music being played, but the only reason my man's played the song was because I was the previous person on the radio show right. the previous week. Mm. 
she came on right after you feel me mm -hmm. so when he played my song she got mad as hell and then stormed out and all this other shit and then going live and, uh, and since she got a pussy and she you know she she whatever she a model all she did thirsty you feel me didn't protect her but everybody i'm sorry people don't understand the game people don't understand well okay no nah, people don't have common sense i don't think that was taught you feel me? They don't, mm -hmm. don't have common sense. When you come into an area and stuff and you're doing something of what we're doing and shit, people are going to watch you. You feel me? You exactly. Are, you're, 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 you're giving yourself to the public eye. Yeah, you're literally making yourself vulnerable. Yeah, you feel me? Like, So when if you get to a bigger status than what you are now and you got millions of people coming at you like, oh, you this, that, and that, third, you woo through, through. How are you going to handle that if you can't handle something like this? Yeah, you feel me? All right, so boom. Where was I at with that? Oh, you remember? Uh, hey, for you remember you was over here? Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The podcast shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? So yeah, nah. You can't piggyback off the next nigga after busy one just gave you an apology and you on some bullshit. Like, bro, right. they didn't have to give you one first off because the cultural appropriation Nash can came on here on some extra shit. We are ops. Shorty, do you know well, what an op damn, is? Got to know what an op is, even if you speak right. about having ops. You feel me? For real, you got an op, nigga. It's beef, and it's and, beef. And, like and the problem with a lot of artists is. Beef ain't beef to them. You feel me? It's oh, I see you in the club and I scowl. Nah, bro. <laughs> I will pull up to your. Sh I pull up to your shit by myself. You feel mm -hmm. me? I'm not threatened at all. You feel me? I'll be there. You feel me? I don't have to come in. I don't have to come in and be on no bullshit. Like a lot of, a lot of mm -hmm. motherfuckers. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there who wanted to just be entertainment. There's some yeah, other motherfuckers that's really me? authentic. That's really to take that shit there. You feel me? Like so, you know, like me personally, like. Knowing that, bro, all right, I'm able to slide over the fuck I want. You feel me? If it's time to be that way, it's time to be. I got somebody on call. Plus, I done been out so much. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this for, you know, X amount of years. I done got to meet so many people where I, I go to TJ Maxx and, and the old nigga, his grandson, and listen to my shit or some shit. Right. You feel me? Like, right. motherfuckers know who I am, but it's off the face, the glasses. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes I don't even be the music. It's just me as a cool individual. You feel yeah. me? Like, the vibe. You feel me? So, like, how is it that, like, these two, few select people have have a reason to say, like, bro, Q done did me bad. I don't fuck with Q. Q this type of person, this, that, and the third. When the majority know me to be that type of person. You right. feel me? Which is cool. I ain't, I ain't worried, you know what I mean, on that sense, but the defamation of the character. When mm -hmm. you start saying I'm a Bill Cosby type of nigga, oh, yeah, he done came on to me. He was kind of advanced and made me feel uncomfortable, knowing good damn well. Ain't none of that shit that ever happened. That's when a nigga got a strike, bro. Right. So I'm setting it straight right here to let everybody know for real, for real, what's really going on. Because, you know, she got me blocked. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like all my people that made a comment on her shit, she deleted the comments because they was right and then blocked them too so that they mm. couldn't see what she was saying. And there's still people on her page. You feel me? Like y'all got the beehives and the, and the you feel me? Yeah, I, yeah. I got some Team QX. You feel me? Yeah, like yeah. they up in this motherfucker. You feel <laughs> me? So yeah. I, I get a screenshot every now and then as soon as I see something. You feel me? Like and the next motherfucker get blocked. That's cool because I still got like 80 more of them motherfuckers. You never got to make a whole new Facebook page being a new whole, whole in Alaska, bitch. For mm. your, all the shit to not get to me type shit. You feel right. me? Like, literally friended everybody. Everybody, you bro. started coming into this thinking, oh yeah, you're friends with this person or oh, do songs with them friend 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 not thinking that all oh, these same people that you friended is sitting here like hey but you know she's talking about you like, <laughs> like bro wow this is crazy Get to be around certain people and start speaking worse on people right like bro it came to the point where i had somebody a business partner now come at me like yo like you know, like, everything cool with you and such and such? And I'm like, I mean, what you mean? Like, I ain't, I ain't seen them at whatever, you feel? Right. So it's bad, too. It's mixy, too. Cause yeah, because... Like, if I fuck with you and then... Somebody say some shit like around, that. It's just like... Like, why are you telling me this? And you know like, what? You know and, what and for real, what if what if a nigga for real done went through something like that? They sister or whatever, they had something happen. Some niggas willing to take it. There's still some niggas that, that stand on morals. True. Mm -hmm. I, my lip looked like this because I pushed a nigga that hit his girl. You feel me? He he had one of my parties. I pushed him like, nah, bro, we ain't doing this shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. He got a big nigga. I'm like, oh, I got Fight this nigga too. Mm. You feel me? I square up to get in my stance. This nigga hit me one of those. You feel me? Like it was one of those like yeah, Sonic, like hot, bro. Yeah. When when you hit, yeah, when you when he threw that punch, when he threw that punch, Falcon. he had to been like, bitch, like he had you, that. You had to say that when you threw it, bro. <laughs> my shit, bro. I bit straight through my lip, bro. Mm. Leaking. I'm like, mother, you done hit me, I, bro. I'm going off. You feel me? Had to work with you, but you know, just to say my my more I stand by, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like shit. Saturday when we was at TH, you feel me? A nigga slid out, and a nigga had the gun. First thing I do, motherfuckers talking about it. I go to make sure my people good. You feel mm. me? I run inside the venue. Maybe let me make sure my people straight. Police just pulled up. You feel me? They getting everything, whatever. Everybody leaving, but now nah, I gotta make sure everybody's straight. Right. If I was there, I, I would have been there in the mix. You mm -hmm. feel me? But like, dude, come back on some stupid shit to get the gun that they took from him. Nigga had a gun in there. They take the gun, cock the bullet out of the bitch, get it away. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Kick him out. He called the police, get the police the gun. They come back up after the shit closed, knocking on the window, talking about, can I get my gun back? 
Nah, bro. That shit registered. I say registered. Oh, you wanna go to the station? Station right over there. That shit registered. But still, you ain't even supposed to have that bitch in the. You ain't supposed to have it in the venue. And niggas know that. You feel me? Let alone you in Kentucky and the nigga black. So you know what's about to happen. Stupid shit. Like, bro, you made yourself a target. You feel me? Like. But but me, you know what I mean? Like, just don't some, you know what I mean? Why? If I see my nigga on some, bro, don't do that. You know that's dumb as hell. You feel me? Me seeing a nigga you like that, that, that was my nigga. Don't nah, do I'm it. tell him, bro, in good faith, good fortune, anytime it come down to anything like that, you feel me? Like, I ain't out here talking about, you. I don't fuck with you, I'm going to let you do bad, you feel me? I ain't, even if I don't like you, you feel me? If, if I see you out and you doing something, kudos, good. I clap for niggas. I clap for niggas that don't like me, you feel me? I watch them perform and I, yeah, you feel me? All that shit. Someone else's name to gain something to gain, to gain something to gain a and connection gain a foot, mm. and you obviously have nothing to add uh, let alone if that's your first tactic to even talk to somebody if it's oh oh yeah because niggas you know when it come down to it the references of people when you get to be around people like you said yeah yeah that's that's yeah the gang yeah that's 50 people you feel me like yeah. oh yeah i remember seeing you around q i remember seeing you da da da, da. yeah q this q that you get tired of hearing that name mm. you feel me i don't really even fuck with q no more and then people be curious like damn you don't fuck with q like why you don't fuck with q folks you feel me? Oh, bro, because da 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 da. And they ain't going to come to me because they don't want to be like, you feel me? It's, it's pussy. They're trying to get that pussy. They know me. As right. I hear something bad, I'm going to the source. What's up? Such and such told me this. You feel mm -hmm. me? They're trying to get some pussy that they probably not going to get. I ain't going to lie. She, she got a certain tier. You feel me? Bums? I don't know. Shit. I see that, well, I, I see that happen often. Like, if it's a pretty bums. girl. Yeah. If it's a pretty girl, people are like, they'll wait. Like, how you say the models is musty? Ain't nobody saying that. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody saying that. But if they was ugly, they'd be like, yo, get your ugly. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you get passes. You get passes. Like, she, she know yeah. that. She know that. You say it to yourself. Like, yo, I ain't gonna say nothing. And, and, and like, like all other women, though, she knows that. Walk shit. around with the trucks around. Yeah, I'm bumping to her. Like, yeah, hold like, on, you rubbing up against me too hard. That's like, I, and me, yo, that's like how you say. Yeah, that's a stream turn off. Yeah, like, yeah, hygiene bad. I'm like, oh. My yeah, I'm being this bitch musty. When a nigga nigga walk past and you hear that. You already know. You know mm -hmm. what the fuck going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, somebody in this bitch stink. You feel me? Or a motherfucker busting one out. You feel me? It's one or the other. They, and they ain't nobody doing that no more. Let's do something <laughs> special. Special like what? Bubble bath? Like, <laughs> let's go shower. Like, that's what I want to do. Like, let's go. Let's Trying go to take bathe. you somewhere nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bed, bed, bed. I yeah, take you to the Check out some sense. <laughs> crazy, crazy, man. But yeah, bro, like, none, none of that discrediting shit. Yeah. Shit when it comes to none of these people, bro. I see everybody, I respect what everybody doing, but like, I mean, I, and I don't ever have to say nothing bad about nobody because usually, like, if my business was bad, eventually, what, what's the name of this shit? Uh, Dun Dun in the dark. dark. It comes to the light. So, yeah, exactly. if my business is bad, niggas will see that. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. now, if your business is bad, again, people will see that. Exactly. This girl, does, I, I've been Team Q since, I, since college. I started that shit in college. I ain't, I ain't saying I ain't never rep nobody else's shit, like, but I have my own entity. I didn't have to jump with hella other people to make Team Q into something. Right. This girl done been with 10 other teams. What, what the fuck is y'all not seeing? Don't nobody see this? Like, y'all mm -hmm. don't see that she done went from this person Passes. to this person? <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing I can't realize. People are seeing that some people are not going to say things because they feel like, after the, like the whole team, basically what, they, what she built around her is don't get me started on somebody who's going to try to tear somebody's Something yeah, she she drags down a reputation. Yeah, mm -hmm. down and, but reputation, she she's not successful. She tries to. She thought she did something to Tay Money, and she had nothing to do with it. Tay mm -hmm. Money's a TikTok rapper. Mm -hmm. her, her shit didn't blow up until she came off of TikTok. The I understood the assignment song. It's the only song that I know about Tay Money. Matter of fact, Snoop Dogg just played a song about it. I heard. I don't, I I ain't even know video. who made that motherfucker. You feel me? So I ain't hold, now, now, so so to go on that one, we had her book in January for Thompson House. Mm -hmm. We at the event venue. Thompson House, again, told you it's repetition. It's gonna be there. We're gonna keep being in that bitch. You feel me? Our Club TH, if you know. Dead. You feel me? We in that motherfucker. One of the promoters get to talking to our bartender. It was the bartender's idea to bring this bitch. Take mm -hmm. money. You feel me? No disrespect to take money. You feel me? But it was her idea to bring it. I wanna make it work because I fuck with the bartender. I got her a job. You feel me? She's been good people, loyal to me. I got you. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I, again, the type of person I am. She don't know how to go to channels to do it. But she tell me, hey, you should really bring Tay Money out. I like her. Da 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 da. All right, you like her? I'm going to do it. I don't know how many people this girl might bring out, but I on the way, a limb of faith, if my people fucking with her, then we're going to make it shake, put five, six artists under her, and she a female rapper, a white girl too. Let's get hella white rappers. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Nice. Make it happen if we need to. You Easy money. Make some money. Easy money. Yes, okay, you feel me? Like So I ended up, uh, right when it happened, the Tay Money joint, uh, uh, she was at the bar getting drunk. Told a promoter. The promoter linked with Peaches. Mm -hmm. Them niggas tried to put the show together. 
They cut out my whole idea, bro. Now, now it came in that Tay Money was gonna change her 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 price to come out mm. up to it was like ten or twenty bands. Mm. Well, she so originally she told us small pocket shit. It was all right, you feel me? We was ready to go. She was like, hurry up and pay for it now before prices go up. Right. So we was ready to book, and then I seen a status come up. Yeah, about the da 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 da. Now, when I, the whole situation happened, I called you. Remember, I told bro, I said, hey, I got this shit on, keep it on the hush, but I'm trying to da 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 da. And then maybe like six hours later, seven yeah. hours later, she made a status, bro. Literally, bro. Who who want to open up for Tay Money? If I brought Tay Money out, who would the... Oh? Then I'm starting to look like, where the place at? Talking about the mock me. I'm like, hold up. That's like, bro, what? Like, like, bro, taking everybody's shit. You feel me? Mm. But this That's is the reason. She, she, does, she, does she have something? Like, is she with an organization? Is she a brand? She, she, she got she's her, her own brand. brand. Yeah, she, she's, she's an entrepreneur. She, she, she got her own shit. She, I ain't going to hold her. She's been out here pushing as best as she can. She's, she's pushing. Don't yeah, get me wrong. Shit. Okay, this is what Promotion, <laughs> promotion, like, side, this promotion side, great. Let's go ahead, do what you think. Mm -hmm. User side, no. it, yeah. So gotcha. it, she wouldn't stick in the industry. They they would call. She would be like a BMF Pac Man, a motherfucker that you listen to the music not because it's substantial, it's got substance, mm -hmm. but because it's slightly entertaining. Not because it's like oh it's good, but it's like all right, it's a model. Kind of da da da, shaking that ass, rapping about stuff that I like. It's almost like a song, a porn. A song. jingle. Yeah, you feel me? Like yeah, yeah. Like so, she like when people. To, what's this girl? She's trying to. She's trying to sell. She's trying to sell. She she's trying to sell. She's trying to sell <laughs> look, no, Megan. She, she, no, she's a, no, she's a pancake butt no, Megan. I, she's a I, pancake like. butt Megan. That's what it is, bro. If I'm, right. I, you feel me? But you know, when it come down to shit like that, bro, like I'm like, damn, you gonna try to cut me like that? Then the the the, the play even fuck up on them because they go out of town. I guess try to get some shit straight. And they come back wrong. Now all of a sudden, fuck Tay Money this, Tay Money that, da da da. And she made she made a, a bad narrative on Tay Money, like oh Tay Money did this to us. She played us skip. Nah, y'all didn't have no business set. There wasn't no contract. Tay Get a Money contract. Responded back and said, uh, uh, what was it like? Basically, non non known rappers are trying to come for her and something like that. <laughs> she got yeah, she was like, I'm too Damn. busy getting money, and if you can't pay the money, then don't speak to me. And that's what it was. Bro. So, the, so mm. she would be. So she went around y'all. And Tay Money didn't even do the, the show. Mm -hmm. So then they started Ain't that crying. guy. Gotcha. Ain't that guy. You feel me? And that's all I said when I heard it was canceled. Ain't that guy. You feel Let's me? Let's check the patterns right quick. Uh, all right, so, so run, the play, run the play for us. I mean, everybody's trying to cancel John Connor, so we don't really care about him. Is that but, me? I haven't. But with John again, no, 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 yeah, <laughs> nah, but just saying, but just again, I, John Connor is an unlikable ass nigga in the city. And I got artists that are under me, signed under me, that I manage, that I allow to do shows with him, even though I know that his business ain't always there. But I make sure it's straight, you feel me? Hey, John Connor but, works with Reminisce, Busy One Radio is tied to the homies man. at Reminisce, so hey. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? But, you know, disrespect to him. <laughs> but, all I'm hey. saying is, but all I'm saying is, again, no disrespect Shout to John out Connor. Reminisce. I don't talk down on him. I'm John. just saying a lot of people aren't too fond make of him. Money. Me personally, shit, if it makes sense for my artists, get it right, because it's business. Personally, mm -hmm. they not fond of him because he couldn't make promises. The promises weren't business promises. It were personal promises. Gotcha. You feel me? Again, so like the business was set. You got to get on stage. This person was here. This was put in your pocket. You just mad because it wasn't more. You feel mm. me? And that's the problem. You feel me? Gotcha. And, and okay, people okay. do bare minimum work and want high expectations for what the reward is supposed to be type gotcha. shit. You feel me? So like, nah, he ain't a bad person. But I mean, I don't speak bad on that nigga either. You feel me? Because again, I ain't got shit good to say for real, for real about a motherfucker. They ain't worried about me. What I, what they eat don't make me shit. You feel me? Like, cool. Handle yours as long as it makes sense. But when a motherfucker discrediting, discreditability. Yeah! You gotta speak on Actually, that I shit. I like to tell people like when you point a finger at somebody, it's full yeah. pointing back at you. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, yeah. why even? You know? What I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. I had a few bit, uh, few bad business deals. Out and people ask me about that person. I'm just, and I, at at the beginning, I didn't know. I didn't even know what to fucking say because mm -hmm. I wanted to say like the bad shit. Yeah. And I'll be like, listen, just keep they, it short. Yeah, yeah. I'll be like, shit didn't work out for me, but you know, it it's up to you. Yeah. yeah. For that to be the first thing that comes to your mind, not to talk negative, but to just be yeah. like, you know, it didn't work out for me, you know, because. It can, whatever your experience is, that's your type of business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the professionality, yeah. professionality. Yeah. There what, like you just said, but there, with these individuals, which you know one of them, yeah. mm -hmm. it was a pattern. But I didn't want to be the guy to be like, hey, Fred Tack yeah, didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 facts. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, facts, yeah. facts. Nah, I feel like, that. Out of all these ten people that say something, nah. Freddie, he saved this. Remember that? And I'm man. like, ah, oh, man, these niggas running with this now, like. Man. But yeah. it's 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 a, it's an uncomfortable situation. Soon, okay. It's an uncomfortable situation to be in when people even bring that negative energy to you. You just like, bro, where's my headphones? Like, yeah. why are you coming to me? Go to that person. Like, I don't know about this person. That like, 
it's like you like I say, self love. You gotta focus on yourself. Like the people yeah. who's with you, they always gonna be with you. You you ain't always gotta check for them. Right. It's these new niggas. Like how mm-hmm. Drake say, no new friends. But you know, like I got people that been rolling. With I don't like that. Like, I don't like that philosophy, but keep going. I mean, no, no, I mean, new people can embrace with individuals. I think more so for real when it come down to it is like. Like don't you don't want to bite the hand that feeds you because the shit really it tarnish your name for real for real. Like when you get so the niggas niggas that cut me on Wiz Khalifa ain't did nothing since. Mm. You feel me? Like like, like, that, like shit that like type that. Of stuff is like bro. I'm I'm with the new friends. You know what I'm saying? I feel yeah. It, yeah. Legit legit. Like no, nah, that's that's, that's all I'm saying is that that's some young people shit for real. That's that's some shit that they don't think because they don't they don't have a life experience to know that you are gonna outgrow the friends that you have. You might want to make some more in the future. Yeah. So if you say this dumb shit now, you might look back people on yourself change. like you a dumbass. People change every trip. So yeah, that no new friends philosophy. And, it's, and it's then the there's also trash. I feel like with the some the stories that you're telling is like rappers that in their podcast and say like, if I'm the guy, I'm gonna use Kanye. If I'm Kanye and you my friend. You're not gonna get what I'm getting. They just yeah. gonna give it to you because I'm Kanye and you Kanye's mm-hmm. best friend. So what like what this stuff is coming to me is a lot. You know what I'm saying? I could break it off and yeah. give it to you and it's, it's the best ever, but you you eating this plate and looking at my plate. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm on a different level. You mm-hmm. you here with me. Just take that plate and be, and be make grateful. it into something else. Make exactly. it right. Make it make it else. make it yourself. Make it exactly. your own. Yeah, you but then me? people, like you just say, people lack the talent. And you already know this at OMS. <laughs> like me and him, we multi-talented. There'd be people that'd be like, you're a rapper. Stick to the rapping thing. Let us do the marketing. Let somebody else do the stuff. Stick to the rapping. You yeah. dope at that. Don't try to jump into something else that that's not you. Stick to this. Stick right. to that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, do that. Like, you you jumping all over here. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah. These guys, they've been doing this. At, like, the younger crowd, they'd be like, oh, you think I'm stupid. Like, nah. It's not even I'm, that. I'm me 31. I've experienced more life situations than you. Mm-hmm. you know I'm, trying to, save, I'm saying, trying to save you from stressing you, yourself out. Exactly. And not saying that you can't be young and experience mad shit. You can be. But yeah. it's not a lot of those people. The percentage is small for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's for shit. sure. Life make it it's easy for real to live a good life for real, honestly. Like you you people would say, My life is hard. I did this. You hear the, all the stories, all the songs. I mean like <laughs> like bro, life really ain't that hard for too many motherfuckers. I mean it is for some people, but like people stub but toe, ah, life hard. You feel me? Like nah, oh, like bitch. like the, the bare minimum thing happened and all of a sudden we T Grizzly. Niggas prayed on my downfall. Right. You feel me? Like, <laughs> nah, bro, like bro, I don't even know you for real, bro. Like, this motherfucker, well, you know I mean? well let like, me get away with five cents at the gas station. Yeah, yeah like, for, like bro, bro remember. Remember that time I gave you a ticket to my event? You can't give me no ticket, bro. You a hating ass nigga, bro. <laughs> what? Boy, that ticket was eight dollars pre sale, bro. This is a dollar pre sale. This motherfucker about to charge me fifty cents because I'm a hundred five dollar minimum. Damn this motherfucker trash. Oh God, bro, for real. And as soon as something don't go right for a motherfucker, they ready to speak down on anything negative that you got. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like anything negative that might have happened to you, any type of situation. You feel me? Like, but I mean, I don't know. I, I look at it like, bro. I mean, y'all, y'all watching the moves. Definitely, y'all see what's going on. You see my statuses. If you got me blocked. Even so, y'all bothered. It's cool, but bro, it don't have. It's stressful, like you said. It's too. You putting too much stress on yourself. Exactly. Let's be adults about this shit and really make shit one hundred. But since you lied, I'm gonna tell the truth. Don't don't lie on me. Don't lie on me. Don't lie to me. Don't fucking lie on me. Don't don't (laughs) fucking lie on me. Especially when I got the truth and receipts. Mm. That's where it get bad. You feel me? Yeah. Because then you you, when when fingers get pointed at you and you start talking about some stuff you don't know nothing about, start you start looping in circles. You can't have a motherfucker believe in you. Then then you losing worth in yourself. And the word at the end of the day is all you got. That's what you got, your Facts. word. If you ain't got nothing else, nigga, you got that. And now niggas can't trust that? Oh, nah. I remember this nigga camera. He had, like, some receipts from, like, 2002. <laughs> Tell <laughs> On the video talk about, I got it right here. Come on, like, that nigga petty. That nigga petty. I'm screenshot king out here. Tell you, oh, God, I'm a firm believer, bro. <laughs> yes, I got yes. As soon as it look on you, <laughs> hey. like, just screenshots and got me out some shit, boy. Two things I am with I done saved a couple lives with some screenshots. I ain't gonna hold you. Type of nigga that holds screenshots, and on the type of nigga that always have three caps in the pocket just in case somebody try to flame you. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like that's that's my two motives. I know when I go out in public or if somebody's sending something, because you know you get all them females that you mess with, and they, all your music shitty. Oh, been waiting on you to say this shit, baby. I got three caps for your ass. This <laughs> is fast. You feel me? So like it's just. I mean, I don't, but I don't, I don't be want to be people, that motherfucker. People be like opportunists. You yeah, know? yeah. And, that, opportunists. and that's the and game. It's not that you don't have the skill. Like if you the guy. And I'm and I'm with you and I'm with the team and shit like that. This is how I feel. I don't want to always be in your shadow. Like I'm trying yeah. to learn the shit to build so, my own exactly. shit. You understand exactly. what I'm saying? Like how when Kanye left Jay Z, like you supposed to leave. Yeah, fact. You always supposed to leave. 
I knew Drake was leaving Young Money when he stopped saying that shit in the song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, right after the I, whole he started putting out these yeah. out those, those little albums with like 13, 14 songs. I'm like, oh, he trying to do the five album contract. He but trying to get out. That's your album. Yeah, 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 like mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. peace. Like he's doing the the fucking dollar. Like hey, hey, hey yeah. I'm out. Like that's it. Yeah, Everybody just, else had to like Nicki had to really like fight. Tiger had to fucking beg to get out of those <laughs> lifelong contracts. But it's just like if I'm if I'm the guy that signed you and you doing real good, when we get to a certain amount of time and I made a certain amount of money, I'm gonna you. Know. Yeah. This is gonna be some some percentage, some small percentages that I'm gonna keep on forever, obviously, you know. Yeah. But go ahead, do your thing. Like I don't wanna be under shit. you for like, yeah, like no, like yeah, no. shit. I mean I wanna go most do my of my artists. Thing. My artists, like, I give them month to month contracts. Like, bro, if y'all wanna keep fucking with me, keep fucking with me. You feel me? If but not, people get frustrated when they when they can't, when they can't do it, when they can't mm-hmm. create it, they're like, damn, like, you know, but when you're around, the, like this energy right now, you could probably create mad shit, yeah, but yeah. when you by yourself, like you say, you go farther and stuff, but it takes longer right. yeah. for that shit to hit you, and you know what I'm saying, and then you by yourself. Right, so, yeah. and then on the opposite yeah, side, like this, <laughs> it's genuine, yeah, yeah, it's, I, it's I like, know what, once I went to Ohio Media School, because I was known for like, the podcasting first. That was the thing that I was doing. And then they started finding out, oh, you're a comedian and you do all this other stuff. Yeah. And then it just, I just, I was just always in the damn right. Mm-hmm. Like, Ebony was there. Mm-hmm. Jada was there. It's like, yeah. yo, come to this. Like, I was at listening parties. Like, I was like, bro, I remember my first listening party. I was with, uh, I forgot who, I was forgot who was there. Um, uh, was Malad, 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 yeah, 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 she Malad. was there. And there was some other girls. Big Lotto. Who? Yeah, the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was there with my uh, 11 Pro Max. Um, I don't think I had... I think I... I didn't have a camera at the time, but I had my 11 Pro Max, and I was like, I'm going to take pictures and stuff like that. Right. And everybody was there. It's like, oh, this is not going to be dope. I took the pictures. Everybody was like this. I went back to the radio station. This was Underground. Mm-hmm. Um, this is Underground. Yeah. Shout out to CineUnderground.com. Yeah. TJ J. Cole was like, yo, why did you come... I came late. He was like, why did you come late? You got the best photos. <laughs> like, we could have put this on a website. It's like you had me do this. I'm just like Damn. I ain't know, but this is me new. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I was just like trying to piece everything together, still learning everything. Right. But you know, and me just listening to everybody else, like this ain't. And then I just started. You know, Fairview Media is a hybrid between cameras and phones. So mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I'll go head to head with somebody with a camera. I'll be like, let's see it. Yeah, and sometimes I lose, sometimes I win. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And once I lose, I don't post those. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Stay in the, on the archive. Yeah, yeah, man, you know, but again, man, just discredibility, man. When yeah. it's when it comes down to it, bro, like let's just let's keep this business business. Yeah, just tell somebody if somebody yeah. put you like if you put if Ace put me in a position to win, to receive, yeah. I'm never gonna talk bad on him at all. If even if he give me even if we have a bad deal, you never gonna hear me say a bad word about you. I'ma just be like Damn, I mean, tell my girl or something like that. Mm. Yeah. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We lost a couple thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we but when it when it comes to the, every person you talk to and a person know me, because like it, it do be that way, bro. Like I, I, for real, at some point in time, bro, I was just talking to Deb about this, like not too long. Ago. I was like, bro, for real. I used to be telling myself like I ain't I'm a regular degla ass nigga like but like with the accolades that a nigga did for real and like how people be treating me like bro we be at bars mm. nigga walk up oh what's up E what's up what's up with my guy what's up with the next show oh, yeah that's you baby you got it <laughs> what you need to drink <laughs> right <laughs> and I look at my niggas like we take two shots of Crown Apple and here go and get them motherfucking shots and we drinking all night mm-hmm. before we go to TH we don't do we. We don't pay. We chill. We mm-hmm. don't. It, it, there are places we go, and just because of who we are, we gain so much of a rapport. And it's not, oh, these guys are superstars. They're this, they're that. It's no, these guys is cool people. Mm-hmm. They good. Yeah, they, yeah, bro. They good individuals. Like they just, we just good motherfuckers, bro. And, and people like that. Sometimes you feel me. So like, when when you when you gotta say some shit like that, like yeah, motherfucker did this to me, or he made me feel like this. Like that's that's low. That's bad, bro. Like that ain't. Yeah, people go with the like. Like with her, with that individual that keep on doing it, they they gotta look at it. You gotta look at like you said, you gotta look at the pattern. Yeah, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. Like if you heard a story about me, like yo, he did some fucked up shit. HB, like I I gotta hear the shit from him. Yeah, like you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Because I don't like, believe I, it. Like it, they just gonna be like, this happened. Okay, word fact. Yo, Freddie, did this happen? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be real about it. I'm gonna be too real. I'll yeah, share like, like a motherfucker. Right. Like that, that, that just because these are though. some these are some allegations over yeah, here. Like yeah, you yeah, do this, yeah. And on my side, I ain't gonna hold you after hearing his side and hearing her side. 
because I was one of the people on the internet, I was just hearing mm-hmm. everybody shit. Right. And I was sitting there going, like, bro, like, which the first thing she said was is that the way that you talked to her, that was the problem. Never something about that, he tried to get on with her, none of that, mm-hmm. or whatever, until what? You saw me kicking it with him. Mm-hmm. And then I'm sitting there doing business with him. Then you sit there and say, oh, yeah, you try to get with me. Da, 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 da. I'm sitting yeah, there. Like, and I said, that, that's, when I, that's when I was at time, when I talked to her, of course, on the side. Because I could, like, I had my problem with her. <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm. let me pull this chick to the side right quick. Talk to her and everything, and that's one of the things that came up. And I was like, I thought you said that he said something to you that you didn't like. And Which was, was like, that she was corny. Yeah, well, that happened too. And I was like, okay, okay. I'm not stupid, bro. Yeah, you feel me? I put like, like, everything together, two and two together and stuff. Like, but if, the, you really, and, if you really had a problem with this man, you would treat this dude this, like, like worse than you, like, yo, know I mean, hold on, my, my bad. The way that you treat your baby daddy and stuff, you feel me? You'll be treating this man them in the same way and shit. Or like a little bit worse or something. You know, like I get you. You just throw some yeah. You feel me? But yeah, that's that, that, we still rolling? That shit is iffy. Or is it black again? Black screen again? Like she played victim. Ah, yeah, fuck yeah. And it's a fuck different it. narrative with every different mm. person. So like you ain't, bro. Yeah, she said you tried to suck a part out of her butt. What? 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 Who said like, what? Who said what? When? Where? The narrative could completely change. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. And then, and then there, there's that. There's the people that mm-hmm. know that I don't know you and I don't know her. And then there's that they be like, maybe he did do this. Maybe he would yeah, suck a part out of her butt. And they're gonna believe it. They're gonna look at my picture pretty, on Facebook. Like, yeah, he got, he got, <laughs> she got, he got she suck she a part of her whole face. lips. It's gonna carry her. Look at him. This is, you know what happened? Domestic violence come. The cops come. Yo, they. It's they get they the nigga. hear yeah. your story. Yeah, him they and you up. They're like, come on, come yeah, on. Let's you know go, let's go. Did. We out here, that's, yeah. You got a story? Tell it at the station. Yo, both your eyes right. black as hell. You ain't this. <laughs> she done whooped your ass. Right. Yeah, Still come gone. on. We gonna, let's talk about it at the station. You locked right. up with two hey, black guys. I see it's more black women that see that she be on BS. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anybody else. And then you got some of these black dudes out here just trying yeah. to get some coochie. Oh yeah, of course, and that's, of course. And that's course. that's that whole that whole situation, bro, with that culture shit, bro. Because it's like, bro, you're not even for our culture, bro. Everybody want to be a nigga till it's time to be a nigga, bro. That shit don't make sense to me for real, for real. Like all that, yeah, I was down there for the BLM movement, like shorty, you wasn't moving for the BLM. You wouldn't have did that by yourself. Was she on the you highway? Did it in a I know people that was on the highway. Was she on the highway? Man. That's what I want. To, I want to see footage of her on the highway. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see you arrested. Bro, I you was down there. Man. You feel me? I was down there. Was you in one of those Metro buses niggas getting picked up in for George Floyd? Yeah. Was bro. you in one of those buses? And it's like, oh, like was you down yeah, there? I was like, down I, there. Like, I, I was down there, Max. I was on the black sword and shit. Yeah, like, it's not, I'm not trying to say that white people wasn't set with the movement, but I don't like how, like, people, it's like almost like, all right, you, I'm like, hey, bro, you want some Sprite? I'm going to drink that Sprite. And halfway through that Sprite, I'm like, hey, bro, can I get a blunt from you? And you'd be like, damn, bro, it's my last one. Like, bro, I just gave you my last Sprite. Like, you, like I got to be appreciated for what I, you feel me? Like, yeah, because yeah, that, yeah, yeah. now the society is a, I, I could do 100, I could do 99 things for you, right? Mm-hmm. That 100 favor you asked me for, I'd be like, nah, you'd be like, this nigga never helped me. Yeah, okay. Never helped me. Yeah, it's like that's... something like a baby mama situation. You could do everything you need to do for your kids and then. You're not man, buying one school thing supplies you this year? You ain't fuck yo, yo dad be there. I'm calling your dad right now. Man, you ain't, he ain't never help. Never? Man. We just automatically get the never. Like, it's never. Like, what? Telling you. Or you mm. ain't cuddling him. You ain't cuddling him? He ain't shit. <laughs> he ain't doing nothing. I ain't. I can't tell you the last time I talked to him. Yeah, because I be blocking your dumb ass. Because mm. you be trying to get your coochie. You know what I mean? All right, well, you know what? Yeah, we, you know, but back on the... We get, no, we getting a little too deep into it. We about 80 oh, minutes. I, I got to oh, yeah, cut it right here. Because I got to edit all this shit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, I yeah. Talk, I, I got to edit all this I shit. Talk, I said, you got to edit. You got to edit. edit this. going to be crazy. You got to edit this. Right, so um, I just, I just want to close out with uh, what, any 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 advice you would want to give as a creator and creative and fellow fellow creative and creative. Um, okay, so, you know, I do motivational speaking as well. Um, I just think there's always time, like, in your life, like, where you have to step away and then just appreciate. Like I say, self-love is very important. Mental health is very mm-hmm. important. Uh, if you're not at 100%, don't create. Don't create. Mm-hmm. That's all I gotta say. I feel that. Out. I, feel that. I, I, I gotta take that to heart myself. Yeah, for sure. You got, you got yeah, any, exactly. any, any advice, anybody? Uh, everybody. Y'all, y'all know me. Okay. It's cute. I don't, I don't, I don't like a, crea- I don't, a, a creator's yeah. advice to creators, man. Just, uh, just one standard one. I would say, uh, just live, live on what you stand by. Honestly, you feel me? Like, so, like, if you, if you really, you know, standing on something, make sure that what you own, you feel me? You own it. Like, don't, oh, yeah. don't say you for one and then show the complete opposite. 
you know, even when it comes to, you know, creating your content and shit, you know. You exactly. Just, everything's just a product of you. Stick yeah. to your brand. Definitely stick to your brand. Yeah. Yeah. Don't try to be something you're not. Amen. It's going to fall off. I, I, I did a motivational thing about that. Like, always be yourself because that's authentic. And you mm-hmm. can always do that a thousand, a million times. Mm-hmm. I'm pretending to be you. That's only going to last so long. Yeah, and I'm looking right. to you. Yeah, I'm looking to you to, to get my next stuff, you know. I want, I want to build on it, though. I want to build on it, though, because... Um, when it comes to always being you, sometimes you are gonna change. Yeah. But you get some, so you you have the right to change up, change up. Evolve. But you gotta live yeah. in that. You gotta live in that shit. Adapt. I, I would say evolve. Evolve. Yeah. You gonna evolve. Change up. I would say evolve because yeah. now I was doing this. Hold doing on. You ain't you're from Queens. No, I'm from. Uh, I'm just. I'm just. I'm just checking. <laughs> what did Fifty say? What did Fifty say? Is what I was gonna say. <laughs> I'm from New York City, but I'm from Harlem, so that's that's my. All right, back. Back. Yeah. Back. Uh, no, no. That's what we did. Hell yeah. Um, back, back. But yeah, like when. You just evolve, like you. You go as far as the people that you mm-hmm. around. You know, you around me. You go exactly. places. I go places. Like the people who are around you that's going places. It's like okay, I, it's not any envious or any of that. It's just like yeah, I want to do that stuff too. Like motivate you and motivate you to go back. Exactly. You go around people that ain't fifty. Say this. You around people that ain't doing shit. You ain't doing mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. If you're the smartest person in your group, you need a new group. Mm. That's Facts. it. Facts. You know? I'm gonna take that one to heart too. Yeah. yeah. Sure. And, I, and on that note, um. I'm going to take that to heart. Um, this has been What's Done in the Dark. Um, my boy Quave Ace. My boy Fred Tacula. I appreciate y'all for coming through. Devin, that dude in the back. Big 18 foot. Uh, Freya. 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 Freya right there. Freya. Threatening my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got for y'all, man. So um, make sure y'all tap in for the next episode of Done in the Dark. We out.